what an awesome statement. A spiritful life guarantees you an inheritance into the kingdom of heaven. There are no doubts about that. Wow, I'm so excited. And just dwelling in the epistles, the letters that Paul wrote to different churches and different people. And one such letter or epistle is a letter to the churches of Galatia titled Letters or the Book of Galatians. And yes, I trust you enjoyed yesterday's devotion or the previous devotion. Friends, what is a spiritful life to start off with? Paul clearly says in verse number 16 of chapter 6 of the book of Galatians, So I say, let the Holy Spirit guide your lives. Why? Then you won't be doing what your sinful nature craves. What a powerful verse that is. Friends, when again I say, when you give your life to Jesus, the Holy Spirit comes and resides inside of you. A new beginning starts. A new creation begins. The old things have gone. The sinful nature, the cravings of that sinful nature gets overpowered by the working of the Holy Spirit. But it's a daily thing. It's not just a once-off. You've got to work with it daily. And just remember, Paul is writing here to the churches of Galatia. But in chapter 1 of and in verse 6, he says, I'm shocked that you are turning away so soon from God who called you to himself through the loving mercy of Christ. And he says that you're, falling, you're going back to your old nature. And that kind of cements what I've been saying right from the beginning of this devotion. So, how does this spiritual life guarantee you an inheritance into the kingdom of heaven? See, verse 19 of that chapter 6 says, when you follow the desires of your sinful nature, the results are very clear. And Paul lists a whole host of uh, things that can go wrong. And I'm just going to touch on a few sexual immorality, impurity, lustful pleasures, idolatry, hostility, quarreling, jealous, outbursts of anger, and so on, drunkenness, wild parties, and other sins like this. So that's what the flesh does. And Paul is again very straightforward and kind of reiterates this point. And in verse 21 he says, Let me tell you again. Here's the reiteration. As I have already said before, that anyone... Now these are the results of living this lawless life or this loose life as you would, whatever you want to call it. Living that sort of life will inherit will not inherit the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God. Friends, that is a stern, strict warning. That's what our sinful nature will do, send us straight to the pit of hell. But verse 22 gives us the, the assurance, but the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. You know the fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Friends, where is your life today? Are you taken in by wild parties and the things that go with it? Does, is there a difference between you and the world? Does, are you, or are you using a camouflage outfit during or outside the Sunday or the service times that it's so camouflaged with the world that you can't tell the difference between who you are and who the world is. Now, I'm not throwing stones and boulders. I'm just stating from the book of Galatians. And this is a warning, and people know me. I'm just straightforward. Friends, I can't pet you into hell. I wouldn't dare do that. But I'd rather rough you up into heaven. Friends, and if it means me ruffling those feathers, I'm certainly, that's what God's called me to do. I speak to myself first, to my family, and then to the rest. You see, 
those who belong to Christ, verse 24 of chapter 6 of Galatians, have nailed the passions and desires of their sinful nature to the cross and crucified them there just like Christ did for you, for us. Mighty God and Heavenly Father, Daddy, we come in no other name but of your Son, Jesus Christ. Today, Dad, we pin all our desires, our sinful nature, and the results of those that sinful nature to the cross. Just as Jesus died on the cross for us, for those, for our sins, so we die to self too. Daily we do that. So we become less of the flesh and take on and yield more to the spirit because we want to have and be that and have that inheritance with you, Jesus, being in heaven with daddy. So today we lay all our flesh on the line and we ask you, Holy Spirit, again to take control. Thank you. We pray that in Jesus' name. Once again, friends, my time's up. So until next time, this is Pastor Henry Samuels praying that you remain touched and changed in Jesus' mighty name. Stay blessed.